In this video, we are diving into a critical part of any Node.js and Express app, configuring environment variables. Whether you are setting up secure API keys, database connections, or custom settings, mastering environment variables is essential to keep your app flexible, secure, and production ready. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a senior software engineer with years of experience in API development. My goal is to help you become a more skilled and proficient developer. Let's get started. I am in Visual Studio Code working with a Node and Express app that I have scaffolded. This app is set up with a TypeScript and ESLint. If you are interested in learning how to scaffold an Express app, be sure to check out our video on that topic. As always, you'll find the link to the GitHub repository with the code in the description below. Now let's create that env file and add node env equals development. It's also a good practice to create that env.example file to provide an example of environment variables for collaborators. This file ensures that anyone working on the project knows which environment variables are required. Next, open the .gitignore file and add the .env file to it so that it's not committed to your version control. In the server.ts file we have a health endpoint. Let's update the response to include the node env value from our process.env object indicating the environment the app is running in. After saving the changes, let's run npm run dev. Then open the API test.http file to make a request. Although we get a response, it seems the environment variable isn't being picked up. In production, environment variables are sourced from the actual environment, but in development, we rely on the .env file. The values from this file need to be loaded into the environment. There are different ways of doing it, I found the best way is to use .env CLI package. Let's install it as a dev dependency, then update our dev script in a package.json to include .env nodemon. Now run npm run dev. And if you send the request again, you'll see the environment variable is now included in the response. If you are enjoying this video so far, please like and subscribe to our channel to help YouTube recommend it to more viewers. Rather than scattering process.env calls throughout your code, it's better to centralize environment variables in a configuration file. This approach allows for easier access, setting default values, and even modifying variables within that file. Let's go ahead and create a config file in the src folder and add the following code. We are defining two variables. The first is env, which takes its value from the node env environment variable. If it's not set, we'll default it to development. The second variable is port, and since environment variables are always strings, we'll parse the port as an integer. A configuration file is a good place to handle this logic. Finally, we export the config. Now let's open the server.ts file. We'll import the config and replace process.env.nodeenv uh, with a config.env. One of the benefits of using a config file is the helpful hinting. So you'll know exactly what variables are available, which is particularly useful for larger projects. Next, go to the index.cs file, import the config there as well, and replace port 3000 with a config.port. We'll also pull the port dynamically using interpolation in the API is running message. Now, all we need to do is define the port in the .env file by setting port equals to 3000. And don't forget to update .env.example file with a port as well. Let's run npm run dev to make sure the app is still running on port 3000. Let's make a request using the API test.http file and as expected, everything works perfectly. 
So the refactoring to a configuration file was successful. And this is how you configure environment variables in your Node and Express app. I hope this helps you better manage and centralize your environment variables. There is more to cover as we continue building the app, so make sure to check out the next video in the series.